We are going back in time now to post World War II here in the Pacific Northwest. That time had a huge impact on the baseball world. And it's all captured in this new book by Eric Vickery called Season of Shattered Dreams, Post-War Baseball, the Spokane Indians, um, and a tragic bus crash that had changed everything. Now, Eric joins me now to talk about this incredible book because World War II, it had a profound impact on American baseball. Did. Most of the players on the Spokane Indians had served in the military during the war, right? That's right, yeah. Uh, of the 18 players on the team, 16 of them had served in World War II in some capacity and were just getting back to resuming their baseball careers and hopefully uh, making it to the major leagues and fulfilling their dreams. Yeah, but in 1946, a tragic accident near Snoqualmie Pass involving the Spokane Indians killed some of the most promising players in the entire baseball league. That's right. Yeah, it happened, um, like you said, near Snoqualmie Pass mm -hmm. on June 24th, 1946. The team was headed uh, west for the next series in Bremerton. And the uh, near Snoqualmie Pass, the bus was forced off the road and careened 300 feet into <gasps> a steep ravine. Uh, the crash killed nine players, uh, injured six others, and uh, had a profound impact on the baseball world and, of course, the, the team. Oh, that's just awful. Like Joe DiMaggio, Vic Pichetti, um, or Pichetti, is that right? That's right, Pichetti. Mm -hmm. He was one of the players that was killed in the accident, um, came from an Italian-American family in, mm -hmm. in, in San Francisco, like Joe DiMaggio. Uh, yeah. Scouts believed his career would have been exceptional as Joe's yeah. had it not been cut short. That's right. Vic was the youngest player on the team. He was 18 years old and, by all accounts, was considered the best prospect on the West Coast. Um, he had been offered contracts by all 16 major league teams as a 16 year old mm. and in 1946 he was sent to the Spokane Indians by Casey Stengel to gain more experience in the minor leagues and by all accounts would have had a great career um, following guys like DiMaggio and Tony Lazari and others uh, who came out of San Francisco like him. Wow. One of the survivors of the crash, Ben Garrity, went mm -hmm. on to become a celebrated minor league manager Yes. Um, who advocated for, for the rights of players, including Henry Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, he was haunted by this accident. He was, yeah. Uh, ben went on to have a long uh, managerial career in the minor leagues, and in 1953, he managed Henry Aaron and a couple other African-American players who integrated the South Atlantic League that year. Mm -hmm. And Hank Aaron later credited Ben with helping him navigate those difficult circumstances in the Jim mm -hmm. Crow South. Hank Aaron later called him the greatest manager he ever played for. But Ben was haunted by the memories of this crash and ultimately uh, used alcohol to kind of cope with mm. um, those memories and uh, kind of derailed his career and led to some health complications. Oh, it's so sad and unfortunate. So many horrible things happen from this. Uh, one more question about Jack Lorkey. Um, mm -hmm. was pulled off the bus in Ellensburg just an hour before the crash. Yeah. Jack actually, apparently, according to the book, cheated death multiple times in his life, earning the nickname Lucky. Yeah. After avoiding the bus, bus crash, he later played for the Seattle Rainers, Rainiers. That's right. Yeah, Jack's story is just truly incredible. He was, like you said, on the bus when it left Spokane that day, but by incredible happenstance, uh, and, uh, when the team stopped for dinner in Ellensburg, he was called away uh, and told to, he needed to report to the Pacific Coast League. So he said goodbye to his teammates, and it was just an hour later that this crash occurred oh, near Snoqualmie man. Pass. And Jack had already cheated death in World War II. He fought in the Battle of the Bulge and narrowly missed a plane crash upon returning to the uh, States oh. after the war. So uh, it was a well-earned nickname, a lucky, yes. that kind of stuck with him for the rest of his life. Obviously, this book is, is about a tragic, tragic event that happened that changed baseball forever. But it's not all about tragedy. What do you hope people gain from this book? Well, it certainly... Uh, sheds light on what was going on in the country in 1946 and how the war affected baseball and and how baseball was rebounding in, in 1946 mm -hmm. and all these players returning uh, hoping to fulfill their dreams um, and more than anything it's a, a story of uh, this team of uh, talented players who were also fathers and sons and brothers mm -hmm. and I, I try to tell the story of uh, each player on the team and um, honor their memory. Thank you for not letting them be forgotten. Thank you so much, Eric, for sharing this with us. Thank you. Makes me want to go out and celebrate baseball. <laughs>